Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to use a slider in Swift. So I'm going to open up Xcode and just make a new project. I'll just call this slider demo. And so this is just going to be explaining how to use a slider. And a slider is a pretty um, essential tool in UI design. You use it whenever you want to give the user a choice. So all I'm going to be doing is adding a slider in and then putting a label underneath it uh, showing the value of the slider. So label. So I'm just going to build this in the main.storyboard. Um, let's give this a constraint of uh, minus 50. Oh, hang on. Give us a constraint of minus 50 and 0 and make it go nearly to the end of each side okay and our label will just be underneath that and we'll let this go to nearly each side as well oh what have I done 25 there and horizontally in center okay now we can just link these up to our storyboard. So we're going to need we're going to need uh, two different functions in this in this um, in this project. So the first oh three I mean. So first we're going to have to link these outlets. So we'll just name this slider and we'll name this text label. And then we also need to detect when the slider is changed. So We'll do. We'll add an action for value changed, and then slider value changed. That's all we need to do in the storyboard. Now I'll go to the view controller, and so what we're going to basically be doing is setting the slider to V. So when the slider is changed, you need to detect it's been changed, and then detect what value is that. So that's what this function here is for, and then we can just detect its value. But when you first load in. You want you want the value to be zero, so I'm just gonna make slider dot value equals zero. The value is basically just how much it is. So zero is just nothing, and and one is the full length. So and then we'll just set text label dot text equals slider dot value. We'll just make it a string. Okay, and now we can just now we can, in this function, all we're going to be doing is detecting the value of a slider and then setting the text label to that value. So I'll just set text label dot text is equal to slider dot value and then just make it a string. So this is always going to be a value in between 0 and 1 and you can just times that by whatever multiple you want to get the desired range you want. So now let me run it and let's see how it looks. Hmm. Should be a pretty quick project to run because there's only like two lines of code. Well, yeah. <laughs> Launching slider demo. And we'll just wait for the simulator. Yeah, comment down below if you want to if you want to know how to do anything else so I can solve your problems and help. Okay, so now we can see if we drag this along it goes from 0 to 1 and we can just drag this along. So thanks for watching and that's all, that's all it is. It's quite simple actually, so yeah.